Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Over here on the Just My Opinion podcast, we talk about entertainment and so much more. So if you're interested in topics like entertainment across the African scene and the international scene, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. Of course, the title of our show is Just My Opinion. So it's just my opinion, it's just the ambassador's opinion. So share your opinion in the comment section. We love hearing from you guys. Let's jump in it. So, um, hi ambassador. Hello, people. It's your boy Ambassador Ambassador again doing his thing. Okay, so um, today we are going to be talking about a fan making some comments about Aria Star's dressing. So, first we have DJ Moste. So, he says, Wahala, please, we love you. Don't leak nudes. Consent fan tells Aria Star sense or no sense so basically this is an article on facebook and he's asking his followers if it's sense or no sense and we also have the link um a caption of the comment or the tweet actually so it says please we love you don't leak nudes and we have the picture of aria star so i think we can all see the picture and then assess do we think like he's overexposing herself do we think this is out of character from aria star because when i was going through the comment section to look at what other people are saying i saw people saying things like oh you're already famous you're already a star you don't need to expose yourself you don't need this and all that so i got the feeling like people are making insinuations like this is out of character she's changing and she feels like she needs to do more what do you think about all this um, ambassador yeah, so I mean, like, yeah, I've seen a couple of some people have actually done write ups with regards to our stars dressing. And this is not the first time, I think. I've even watched an interview where she was saying, like, even before she became famous, people think that, okay, maybe because she's famous now and she wants to, yeah, use her sex appeal as a selling point. But she said, even before she was famous, she has always been that girl who likes to just be skimpy like that. Some people say her skimpy dressing is shocking. I think it's more of like our conservative African side because I I understand people saying that because I'm also an African, I know what they're talking about. But what I don't like about Africans at times are our double standards. So Beyonce will go on a video and then wear skimpier things. I mean, some of them virtually wear like bikini, beach wear things on stage in videos and things. We watch it, we enjoy it, we don't comment about it, or maybe we think our comments cannot even get to us, so it does not really matter, or whatever. But when it's our own, we feel now like, okay, it's a bad thing if they do it. But is it a bad thing because a human being is doing it, or is it a bad thing because it's an African doing it? Mm. And if it's a bad thing because an African doing it, are you also aware that the same standards you hold yourself up to as an African, not maybe what I start holds herself up to? So, there's some of those double standards which I find tricky. And then also, okay, with ladies, we criticize their dressing. But the guys have done crazier things. Mm. We are not as hard as we are on the ladies, on the guys. So, I'm always wondering, okay, there's that double standard first from a sexist point of view of women should be covered, conserved, reserved, whatever I want to say. And there's also a double standard of as an African, you should not be doing this. So that's why I have an issue. I personally, I will not, I don't think, yeah. I find some of her, her, her outfits la- outlandish, shocking, not extreme. It's shocking on the TV, but I think that's what the world has become. We see everyday girls wearing shorts like that for no video, no reason, no money, no career. So. You begin to wonder like yeah so I, I don't know if it's the society influencing the art so is the artist influencing the society but that's just what our society has become and so for us to have our little sisters wearing some of those shorts or our classmates or neighbors on the street putting on those shorts we don't see anything when is aria star now we all have opinions people are typing two pages writing dissertations and making a career out of his comments. Yeah, I, I just think that was yeah. So I, I have two things to say, and I'm just trying to play devil's advocate here, because for, before I, I say what I have to say, I'll just like to say, um, firstly, I feel um, the way somebody dresses, the way somebody carries themselves, it's all an individual thing. And I don't think anybody should have a say, especially the way an adult dresses. But um, I would say, 
there is the fact that Arya Star is now in the public eye. The everyday girl moving on the street is not much of a role model as Arya Star people see on TV. So people might have that worry of you are an Arya Star, people see you on TV and we hold you to a certain standard because you have become a role model. So they have they since they hold them to a higher standards then they, they have more um criticisms and more things to say about that secondly i would say you mentioned something about um we see the beyonce's or the rihanna's or the foreigners dressing in a certain type of way and we enjoy the music and we don't say anything but then when it's our own we feel like we should talk i feel it's the same thing like if you see a neighbor's child doing something you don't feel like you should talk because it's not your child you just try to ignore it and you let it be but if it's your child doing the very thing or if you see your child walking with that neighbor's child, you feel like, okay, now I should talk because this concerns me. So I feel as Africans, there's that feeling of, okay, these are foreigners and they are doing that thing. But then it's our own. Now we can talk. So I, I feel those are the two points that go through my mind. When you, um, yeah. In the beginning, I get you, but those are those double standards, though. Mm. And even like you say, even in our families, our everyday existence Africans, we have lots of double standards which does not make sense. It's borderline hypocrisy. But yeah, as you have said, it's true. But that should not be the case. If you are shocked by bomb shots, you should be shocked by bomb shots from anywhere, everywhere. Mm -hmm. It should not be selective shock, 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 like shockness or it's, it's, it's shock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one. I get what you are saying of because we think, and that's what I said, is it because she's African? I was just asking rhetoric questions, which as I said, yeah, but for me, pff, the way the world is going, I don't know, huh? I don't know if we should really be focused on those things. Yeah. Asha can savvy, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel there are a lot more issues in the world that, especially Africans, we have more things to talk about than um, the way Arya Star dresses. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I think the, the call should be appeal for people to use their good judgment. Mm. Nobody should be the standard bearer of, because like the other person also be like, I don't like your dress and I find your dressing too shocking. Mm -hmm. And I think there is a moral compass which, okay, based on our cultural condition, it varies. There's no fixed line and fixed terms of reference as to how each moral, each everybody's moral compass should be like. Mm -hmm. But there is a range which I think, okay, killing is bad, killing is bad. Everybody can find that in the, at least the majority. Mm. So if the majority of Africans find that shocking, then they should vote the law against the, the person or whatever they want. If, if they have not voted a law and they're not finding shocking that what other people doing it, their children are doing it, then yeah, they should not be acting holier than thou here on comment sections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As usual, guys, we always want to know what you think in the comments below. But let's talk about our sponsors, Echo.online. Yes, as usual, Ambassador, I talked to the artist about the money. Echo Online is a site which is under construction. Lots of the features are already live, but I just like to keep artists head up because, like, this is more of like how can you keep your career going? Basic steps build your, um, create your profile on Echo Online, share the link to your profile, get, get your fans to come and follow on Echo Online. And then build a community. When you have a solid community, you can start trying to cash in on this community. By cash in, I mean selling your ticket, ad, streaming your music, selling your music, selling your merch. It's built for making money. It's not like the other side people come and just like, comment, share. Nah. Because online, the end goal is making money. And so that is all our local payment methods like mobile money and all of those things. So you don't need to have a bank account, you don't need to register a company. Nah. You just put out your music, people like it, they support you, build your community organically, you redraw your money directly from your phone. You just need a phone. All you need is a phone. And we see the power is in your hand because just the phone. Upload your music, share your music, build your community, sell your music, sell your tickets, sell your merch, organize your event, whatever you need to do, just with this app on your phone. So guys, surely the artists, start familiarizing yourself with Echo Online, share the link to your music with us, we'll push the power as we can, and let's all try to build this ecosystem. 
Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. We want to hear from you. What do you think about our topic? Do you agree? Do you disagree with us? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you do enjoy our content. Hit the notification button and see you guys next time. Bye guys.